Money continues to flow for the city of Rochester's Division of Forestry with two new grants awarded recently to help meet their goal of planting another 2,000 trees by 2025 and increasing the city's total tree canopy to 70,000 trees in total. Liam Healy spoke with Andrew Place City Forester to learn more about how the money is going to be used to help expand the urban forest more equitably. Well, there are nearly 70,000 trees spread across the city of Rochester. Some areas, like the Northeast Quadrant, have a disproportionately low share, with just 66% of available tree pots filled as of the latest update to the Urban Forest Master Plan. Research has shown that neighborhoods with little green space have more frequent issues with high levels of pollution and often an increased impact on the urban heat island effect. Primarily focused in the Northeast, where our tree canopy is the lowest. The grant requires us to plant trees in underserved, disadvantaged communities. So we're really focused in the Northeast, a little bit in the uh, northwest, a little bit in the southwest as well. The ultimate goal is to bring stocking levels to 85% in each quadrant of the city, a plan that is now more realistic with $3 million from the USDA as part of their trees expansion and beautification initiative. We were able to plant a couple hundred, a few hundred extra trees in the first year, so we are a little bit ahead of schedule. We're hoping to be able to plant a few more after that to get over 6,000. The funding will, will help us through the next year and a half or so of the, the of the large scale planting initiative to to uh, to carry out the rest of that that plan recently the dec also gave another six hundred thousand dollars to the department through the community and urban forest grant program to help keep up with maintenance specifically removing stumps like this one to open up more planting spots across the city we also received a grant from new york state department of environmental conservation to help us create planting space for more trees in those disadvantaged communities by removing those stumps um, so that'll help us over the next couple of years to, to really open up those spots for new trees outside of the work being done through these grants the city and the Division of Forestry are continuing to implement the feedback they received while updating the Urban Forest Master Plan, which was released earlier this year. Reporting in Rochester, Liam Healy, News 8.